Following last night's Monday Night Raw, there seems to be a lot of question, there seems to be a lot of doubt, there seems to be a lot of confliction, there seems to be a lot of chatter as to what the heck just went down. Listen, everybody's happy, everybody's proud, everybody's satisfied, well, mostly, I can say everybody, that Jey Uso finally, for the first time in his career, 14 years it took him to win a singles title, it took him that long to win the Intercontinental Championship. But why? It just seemed a little off. It, you know, Braun Breaker only held the belt not even two months. Wasn't it only his first or his second title defense and Braun Breaker already on the outside looking in? Now, what is the real reason? What is it? I'm the one that brought this up years ago. I, you know, in, in addition to news and rumors and headlines and speculation and gossip, I'm the one that came on here and said, well, the real reason for this, the real reason for that, this is why this happened. This is why that happened. First off, what did you think about Raw last night? And are you happy with Jey Uso becoming the new Intercontinental Champion? Are you satisfied? Are you proud? Are you happy? Or do you think Braun Breaker deserved a bigger run, a more illustrious run? What is the bigger picture? What is the bigger plan? And again, what did you think about Monday Night Raw last night? Now, there's a lot of different opinions. There's a lot of varying opinions about what went down and what we saw on Raw Last night. Now, what was your moment? What was your match? What was your takeaway from Raw last night? Looking at it from a 50,000 view. Looking at it from a distance. Looking at it from afar. And what we got. Something again. It, it just seemed like the timing wasn't the right time for Braun Breaker. I mean, here you are. You got the future of the company. You know, Braun Breaker's on. You know, he looks great. He does great, but why would he lose the title out of nowhere on, on a random episode of Monday Night Raw? And again, he didn't even have the title for a mere two months. Why would you do that to Braun Breaker? You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like you're in a situation where, all right, Jey Uso has finally accomplished what he wanted to do. A lot of, and again, this is not, I want to say this right now again, a lot of people take what I say and they take it to heart. You got to take what I say with a grain of salt and you got to understand that all things are subject subject to change in the WWE. All things are subject to change in WWE. Whether a rumor happens or not, it's not up to me ultimately. It really is not up to me ultimately. But what is up to me, viewers, fans, and subscribers, is what I read, what I see, what I hear, and what gets out there. And again, things can change. Things can go in a different direction. Uh, the trajectory of something can be completely different. And again, I, I do multiple videos a day just in case there's an update, a change, or a development. Or if I'm wrong, I'll say I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll take up to it. But a lot of rumors and speculation that Braun Baker may be injured. Now, that's that's a rumor. That's that's There's three big rumors as to why Braun Breaker lost the Intercontinental title. Or he's got some, he's, he's rubbed the management the wrong way. He's got some backstage heat, thinking he's a little bit better than what he is. And he is good. He is solid. But having this big ego, having this big head. Now, again, the third rumor being, maybe a suspension's on the horizon. Maybe, maybe he, like I said, maybe, or maybe it is because he is a, He's WCW because the Steiner brothers, the Steiner brothers made their name really synonymous. I know they were in the WWE, I, I get it, but their most notoriety comes from when they were in WCW and battling the NWO, being on Nitro. And we all know that the uh, the Usos and the Anawi family, the, the Roman Reigns, uh, they were built up in the WWE, and they they are a WWE product, so to speak. So is that something that goes into it? Uh, obviously, guys, there's a lot of different varying things that go into this, but is Braun Breaker got heat? Is he suspended? Is he injured? Again, those are the three big rumors as to what Braun Breaker is going through and what we witnessed on Raw last night. And obviously, the world is shocked by what we've seen, and if you observe what we saw, um, you know, Triple H took a picture with Jey Uso backstage at Monday Night Raw. Is it because the Steiners were a product of WCW and the Samoan legacy is a part of WWE that's WWE made, so to speak? Guys, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to take on a world of its own. Again, if there's any updates or developments or any changes or if I'm wrong, I'll come on here and I'll give you an update. This is why I do multiple videos a day uh, to, to give you the satisfaction to knowing 
All right, this is what happened. This is what went down. This is what we're talking about. This is what we're going to discuss. It was a thrill. I mean, everybody was shocked. It was shocking, but it was a different type of shocking because it was Braun Breaker. It was a short stint as champion. Nobody saw this coming. Again, totally unexpected. Or is Braun Breaker just going to win the championship back? But would that would that make a whole a lot of, whole hell of a lot of sense if Braun Breaker wins the title back uh, at say Bad Blood? I don't know, guys. The sequence of events that we have witnessed uh, has definitely um, turned the WWE upside down and inside out. So your thoughts, your comments, and your opinions on uh, you know what a ride Raw took us on, but. It seems like we have more questions than answers with Jey Uso becoming the brand new Intercontinental Champion. Click the bell, subscribe. Plenty more videos to come throughout the day, every day. Why? Because if it weren't for you, there would be no Sean's View. Subscribe.